Good morning, folks. We've got a couple key science items to hit today. The sunspot cycle progression, solar health connection, ocean temperatures, and solar forcing of clouds. We are starting, as always, however, with the last 24 hours on our star. It was another relatively calm day. Sunspots not producing much in the way of flaring, no Earth-directed eruptions. We do have a few sunspots that will be key to monitor as we enter the week and a plasma filament. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm as well. We did have one nice-looking filament release on the incoming limb, which you can see here in 304 angstroms of ionized helium. We'll be monitoring the earth-facing filament today, which is that thin, dark rope you see near the center of the frame, and also the bright active regions coming in behind it, which also appear to have plasma filaments woven into the umbral fields. Let's take a look at how the sunspot cycle is progressing. The black dots are the actual data, and the gray portion with the red central line is what was predicted before the solar cycle began. You can see that both the sunspot number and the solar radio flux are above forecasted levels as they have been for about two years. We're approaching the peak crest of the curve here over the next two years. First up in the articles is the introduction to the special issue in atmosphere about solar impact to human health. It's a good primer on the basic information of how the sun has access to physiological forcing. If you check out the link and you click that blue text you can see at the bottom of this image, you will find all of their papers on the topic so far. Excellent study up next on the oceans that a good fraction of the science community is going to pretend doesn't exist. As has been shown several times before, they confirm here that there is a cooling trend in the eastern equatorial Pacific region and that the warming seen in the North Atlantic is part of multi-decadal variability, which is forced by the sun, by the way, and is not a long-term warming trend. Last but not least, we saw the preprint months ago, but now it's official science. You can use global cloud fraction to directly measure geomagnetic impact and even forecast some of it. Solar particles and cosmic rays create condensation nuclei and electrify the ambient atmosphere to make dust and vapor attraction stronger, and coronal mass ejections heat the atmosphere, which also directly impacts cloud formation. Solid solar forcing study there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.